Welcome, guys, to a different sort of LP that's kind of new. Robotic Mayhem? No. This is actually really different. I'll actually explain it before I get into it. And then the clock will be on. Why am I saying clock this time? Well, that's due to the fact that this is going to be... I wonder if I can make him talk. No. Okay. Okay. But this is going to be an actual marathon of a game where I'll actually be sitting, playing a game... And challenging myself to see if I can beat the game within 12 hours. Yes, 12 hours. That long a recording. I have to be in less than that time, or else I'll have to 100% the game. And the game is... Damn it. Wow, that flick went really fast. Weird. Um, the game is... Banjo-Kazooie! I'll leave you to the intro. Or... I'll leave you to the intro! Damn, I forgot you had to press play game. Or X oh yeah, and they did actually dub over the Nintendo logo that used to be there. Never mind. Alright, nice intro, very nice. I'll actually wait, is there a cutscene right after this? Yes, I have practiced a bit, though, if you can tell, with this save. I'm hoping that's less than that time that I can beat it in. And we'll start with the Game Boy save! In a dark and stormy night, Star Wars has ended, and one nerd is out to kill. Oh wait, that's an old woman about to kill. Two different things that I have confused. Glover? Damn it, you come back to me! Damn it, it's just an old hag. Not you, because you are a stankin' wench. Yes, in the wrong ways. Why don't you just stop with the radiation? It really ruins the skin. A bench is prettier than you. And that isn't that hard. Pedophilia. Wait, wait. Now I actually think about it. Why is... I guess the sense there's only two women in this world. It's either that or a freaking girl. So, yeah, okay. Loading. In a long day's work, we have, um, whoa, that mountain really has a big amount of contrast to the rest of the freaking world. An adventure. I'm 
Um, no. Anything is prettier than you, so... Wait. Reverse. Never mind. What? It's a bird. It's a play. No, it's an old hag on a broom. I hope she dies. Oh my gosh! It's a turnip! Oh wait, turnips aren't green. Damn it, what's a green vegetable? Whatever. Ew! Wait. Nothing. Yeah! There's, um, kidnapping going outside and he's sleeping. Oh, yeah. What? I heard something. There's trouble afoot. Now we need to get on foot. Ah! Oh. Alright, now we start the game, and I'll actually do an explanation. First of all, I will skip the tutorial. Since I have less than 12 hours, I'll just explain to you in a less amount of time it take balls to actually force me to do it multiple times. And yes, I'm not reading the text. They're talking in a way like uh, in... Uh, do -do 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 -do. I forgot the game. Damn. It's kind of odd. That's because I'm... Oh, we... Yeah. I've tried to help you. Uh, forget it. It's gonna come back to me later. But still, um, as far as this game goes, this is actually a game of my childhood that I want to play. You'll be saying, oh my J. My rhymes are sucky. Don't be lucky, because... Okay, I'll stop rhyming before I start getting unlucky. And yes, the neighbor down the road, yeah, you see that house? We must go in it. It's big as crud. No. Not going to teach. Me learn good. You no need English. No, I'm declining your training. I'll explain it quick and easier. Quickly. Quicker than he will. Thank you. And if you do press B, he'll just hand you all the basic moves. Oh, I don't have that move yet. Damn it! I'm so used to everything else, but... Uh, I'll just go through the training course for you all, and yes. Press, uh, right bumper and B, X. Damn it. I looked it up! I actually was right on this. What the f That thing is talking to me. My health is talking. Okay. Um, yeah. The controls actually mirror the N64 controller since they kind of look alike, so... Wait, the fuck? Wait, am I supposed to... Oh, it's the other one. This one. But you use right... Is it bumper or trigger? Yeah, right trigger and X to do most of Kazooie's moves. Like... X controls Kazooie, and I think B is actually no. Without uh, Alright, if you always press trigger, most of the time there are Kazooie's attacks or moves. The triggers control Kazooie while the X controls the attacks. Damn it! Talking objects. Somebody's on a high, or we're just in a wacky world of banjo. And yeah, this can, uh, right stick controls camera, left stick is movement, pretty much that's all you need to know. And press, to double jump, press A twice, stuff that freaking game will explain by going through it quickly so I can get all the honeycombs. So honeycombs. Are they necessary? No, but they're useful. Where? Hey, I, that was pointless. But if you get all the honeycombs, you get another heart. Not heart piece. Uh, honeycomb, which adds up to more health, more health good, and Vangel walks slow and annoys me. Yeah. Dang you, carrot! Your healthiness is going against me! I need more sweet honey! Can you get diabetes from honey? I have no clue. I don't know, that was a random thought. Leave me alone. This is going to be a lot. Yeah, longest recording ever. And oh, there's an extra life over there. I'm gonna ignore it, lives in this game are pretty effing useless. They're the equivalent of, hey, you died, let's just give you all your lives back and let you start over. And if you do try to talk to bottles, they'll just say, yeah, you ignored me, so screw you! So get inside! You said you didn't want my help, so screw you! So beyond that, yeah, another honeycomb over there, at the bottom. I'm going through these pretty quickly, as quick as possible. 
even though this is supposed to be a speedrun, I could ignore the health. I'd rather like to get the easiest health obtainable rather than the rest, which are actually going to be lo taking too long. I think, how many are missing now? There's one at the top, because that enemy has one. So, yeah. I'm going to be running through the commentary as best as possible. If I wean down through the times I do this, please excuse me. But, as hard as it is, I will take breaks, and the LP started, I'm going to subtract about. I'll say it started at 1. If anybody wants to argue that, screw you. I have 12 hours from 1, because I forgot to check about, what, 5 minutes ago? Yeah, I doubt that cutscene took more than 5 minutes. But still, yeah, I have till 1 o'clock AM to beat this game. Where's the last honeycomb? Um, shoot. That's a bad thing. Oh, now I remember the climbing one. And, here we go! And that gets you an extra health. Throughout the game, there are two honeycombs in each level, and as you progress, you will have actually double health by the time you get to the end. But, with this being a speed run, I, uh, well, a marathon, I'll see if I can actually beat the game without the health upgrades. Because technically it takes too long for me to find the health upgrades unless you know them. And when I played this as a kid, I ignored the honeycombs because I never found, like, me needing more health than necessary. Yeah, I'm ready to tackle that. Whoa, somebody... Wait, the bridge is rebuilt. I remember the cutscene, it was freaking damage! Flock inconsistencies! I wonder how many times I'm gonna yell. But seriously, this bridge was broken near the cutscene. Look! I'll keep walking. Um, another note. Musical notes. These I Wow, that was actually our name. Whoa! You got fatter in less than 15. What'd you do? Eat the whole McDonald's menu? Seriously, I, you just were a bit skinnier before. How'd you get fatter? Yeah, rescue, I do not dare, except about five minutes ago, I just walked in your house. Ish, I should. And you say, this contraption's on for about as long as it takes me to get there. So ironically, she has the most slowest moving machine in the world. Yeah. Well, I'll just pretend there's a 12 hour time limit. Oh yeah, but just to explain. Ooh, talking puzzle pieces. I'm on a high, ain't I? Sorry to say you will miss most of the achievements except the ones at the end. So please excuse the fact that most of the achievements haven't got before, because I was testing out the game and seeing what's changed from before. First thing that has changed that I should be noting, the comparison between N64 and Xbox, is the fact that the graphics have used anti-aliasing to make most of the edges smoother. You could have noticed with Bottles where his face is actually more round, rather than just edgy, to get that round feel. And to move forward, just press A to put in puzzle pieces, then press start to actually put them all in. These are things that he's explaining. BAM! EXPLANATION GOT! And for every, uh... Every one, these work like star pieces in Mario, where you need a certain amount of star pieces to get in each level. Once you accumulate enough, and put all those puzzle pieces in the picture, BAM! Open door. Seriously, I wonder how many explanations I'm getting through. And just a short amount of time, it's already been 14 minutes. Have I boggled your brains yet? Because Boggles has yet to boggle yours because I've skipped Boggle. Bottles, bottles, boggles of the day. Tongue twister, try it 10 times. It will not work. And these are musical notes. As you collect these, these open the doors in which allow you to progress through the game. Hopefully I won't need 100%. This is the thing I'm unsure about this, and please put in the comments for anyone else who may be playing this game for the first time. Oh yeah, watch out for the bull. He can kill you. Can and will. Can and will. 